Hey guys, Two Minute Tuesday. We're talking about drum racks. How we can get all the layers out of our drum rack and put them into individual MIDI tracks or audio tracks in arrangement view. Two minutes, start now. So listen to our loop right here. Pretty straightforward loop. Now, as you can see, we have our drum rack down here. In order to get to that, you can um, just click on your MIDI clip or click on your track, and then you can click down this button here and you have your, your drum rack here. Now, all you have to do is click and drag, and you'll see that's the kick now. So now, click back on the original drum rack, because every time it um, selects your dragged track, so let's drag all these across, minimize that one, and then open all these up just so I can see them. There's our um, same drum loop, but in individual individual MIDI tracks. Now, I want these to be in audio tracks. I personally like working in audio for drums. So what I'm going to do, I have effects on these, but I want these effects to go with me. So I'm just going to control X these, right click, go freeze track, flatten track, Control V, that one's nothing, so we can just freeze that, flatten that. This one here, we got Redux, Control X. Now the reason we copy, uh, sorry, the reason we cut is because we uh, we don't want to leave the effect. After, uh, sorry, leave the effect on the track before we flatten, or else you'll have two of the effect once you paste the new one on there. So that you get the idea here, I'm just copying all this stuff. Cutting all this stuff, freeze track, flatten track, paste it back on. It's a little bit tedious, but there you go. We have our same exact same loop, all in audio now with all of our effects. It's that easy. Just under two minutes. Awesome. All right. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you on the next one.